When you're going through the storm, who do you look up to? Do you look up to family? Do you look up to friends? Do you look up to your husband, your wife, co-workers, the community church members? When you're going through a storm, who do you look up to? And there's nothing wrong in looking up to all these people like family, friends, husband, wife, co-workers, community community members. There's nothing wrong in looking up to them. But the word of God tells us that we should not put our faith and our trust and our confidence in men who cannot save us. Psalm 146 verse 3 tells us that do not put your faith and your trust in princes who cannot save but we should put our trust in God. God is the only one who is able to save us. So when you're going through a storm in your life, who do you look up to? Let's look at Psalm 34. Psalm 34, I'm reading from verses 1 to 5. Here is the Psalm of David. David said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make it boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord and he heard me and he delivered me from all my fears. Verse 5. They looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. David wrote this psalm at a time where he was going through a very difficult time in his life. Saul, who happened to be the king at that time, wanted to kill him, not because David had done anything wrong, but Saul wanted to kill David. And with the help of Jonathan, David's uh, with the help of Jonathan, Saul's son, David was able to escape. So David wrote this psalm. When he was in a storm, hallelujah, and he said, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You see, when we're going through a storm, it's very difficult for us to praise the Lord in the midst of the storm. Because all we feel is the pain, the pain of the storm. And because we feel in the pain, we're not able to bless the Lord. But in the midst of the storm, David was able to say, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. He said, my soul shall make its boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. And then verse 3, he said, Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. It's very, very difficult, saints of God. It's very, very difficult to, to praise God, to magnify him when you're going through the storm. It only takes the power and the strength that comes from the Lord to be able to praise him in the storm. David said, "My oh, bless the Lord. He said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Let us exalt his name because he knows that God is able to bring him through the storm. And therefore, he's able to say, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name. He is the beginning and the end, the author and perfecter of our soul. And therefore, he's able to bring us out of every storm that we're going through. He formed us. He created us. He knitted us together. He knows what we need in every situation. When you go through a storm, who do you look up to? Do you look up to friends? Do you look up to family? Do you look up to co-workers? You see, when you look up to these people, even though there's nothing wrong in, in doing that, because they don't know what you need, they don't know what you truly need, they're not able to meet your need. And because they're not able to meet your need, you and I will get frustrated. But when we look to God who created us, who formed us, who knitted us together in a mother's womb, who put us together, who understands our very nature and what we need, when we look to him, we will not be discouraged. We will not be disappointed. Let me ask you a question. Are you going through a storm right now? Are you feeling discouraged? Are you feeling disappointed? It could as well be that the people you're looking to to encourage you are not encouraging you. Rather, they're looking, they're looking for your downfall. It could be that you're putting your faith in your husband or your wife or your children and you trust in them to come through for you in certain things and they're not doing it. And because of that, you're getting discouraged. You're getting depressed because your faith and your confidence and your trust is not in God, but in people. 
God is speaking to you today. And God is saying to you, refocus, refocus, refocus. Look to me. David said, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. You see, when we're going through a storm, sometimes fear overtakes us because we don't know how the storm is going to end. We don't know whether it's going to be in our favor or whether it's going to be against us. So when we go through the storm, sometimes fear overtakes us. But David said, when I saw the Lord, he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. When you seek the Lord, he will hear you. God is not a man that he should lie. When you seek the Lord, he will hear you and he will deliver you out of the fear that seems to cripple you. Hallelujah. Are you looking to the Lord in the storm? Are you crying out to God in the storm? Are you waiting on him in the storm? God is calling out to you and he's saying, child of God, reach out to me. Take your faith of friends who will disappoint you. Take your confidence out of men, out of things. Could be things you put in your confidence in. Could be money you put in your confidence in. Could be friends. Could be properties you put in your confidence in. But these things will not save you. He said, put your confidence and your trust in me. David said, I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked to him, verse 5, he said, they looked to him and were radiant and their faces were not ashamed. Who is the day, who is the they that David is talking about? You see, when David was running away uh, from Saul, he was not alone. He had a group of people that were with him. You see, when you go through storms, sometimes you would lose friends. Friends will forsake you. Paul talks about that. Paul talks about when he was deserted, he was forsaken when he was going through his storm. He was alone. As a matter of fact, Jesus went to the cross alone. Peter denied him. Peter said, I don't know him when he was asked about uh, Jesus. He said, I don't know him. So when you go through a storm, sometimes friends would desert you. Family would desert you. But God will never desert you. He said, I'll never leave you and I will never forsake you. So when David was going through the storm, David had a group of people that were with him. God will always leave a remnant with you. Even though some may desert you, there are people that God will leave, that will stand with you through the storm, that will go through the storm with you and be right beside you. David had a group of people that were with him as he was running away from uh, Saul. And in verse 5, when David said they looked to him and were radiant, David was talking about the group of men that were with him. This group of men looked to God because they were all in the storm. They were all running away. They were with David. They looked to the Lord. And they were radiant. The word radiant means glowing, glowing with light. It means comfort it means it means light they glowed with light they had joy they had peace they had calm when they looked to the lord when you look to the lord you will be calm when you look to the lord you will have peace when you look to the lord you will have joy the joy of the lord which is your strength and my strength without that joy there's not much we can do and joy does not come from circumstances. Joy comes from the Lord. Hallelujah. So to get that joy, you need to look to the Lord. When you go through the storm, who do you look up to? There may be people listening to me right now and you're going through a storm. And in this storm, your focus has shifted. You started looking to the Lord, but all of a sudden your focus shifted and you're looking to people to support you. You're looking to people to encourage you, to bring you through, to provide for you. And they're not meeting all that needs. They're not meeting all these needs and you're getting frustrated. When you feel frustrated, it could be that your focus is not on God, but your focus is on men or situations or in things or in circumstances. Your focus must be on God. God is calling you to refocus. God is calling you to put your trust in him. God is calling you to put your faith in him. Let me tell you the sign that your faith and your trust is in God. You will not be disappointed. 
When your faith and your trust is in God, you will not be discouraged. It doesn't mean the storm has passed. You still will be in the storm. But when your faith is in God, you will not be depressed. You will not be discouraged because it is God who is holding you and putting you together. It is God who is strengthening you in the storm. So when you're feeling discouraged, it could be that your, your focus has shifted. God wants you to refocus. He said, I'll never leave you and I'll never forsake you. David said they looked to him and were radiant. When you look to the Lord, you will glow with light. Hallelujah. The light that comes from God, the light that outshines every darkness. When you look to the Lord, you will glow with light. Hallelujah. You will glow with confidence, with boldness. You will be able to stand tall in the midst of the storm and say that God is my helper. I shall not fear. You will be able to say the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not fear and be confident and be bold in the midst of the storm. He is the lifter up of your head. When you look to him, you will be able to say, Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. You will be able to say this when you look into the Lord. But you see, when our focus is not on God, then we become very discouraged, very disappointed, very hopeless. There is hope for you, child of God. There is hope for you. Look to the Lord. The battle has been very strong. The battle has been very tough. But I'm here to tell you that whatever you're going to through, God has permitted it for a purpose and for a reason. Whatever you're going through now will not destroy you. God is with you as long as your focus is on him, as long as your eyes are on him, as long as you're reaching out to him and you're calling to him, hallelujah, he will bring you the other side. What you're going through will not destroy you. It's only shaping you for what God has for you. It's only shaping you and preparing you for the assignment that God has for you. Hallelujah. What you're going through will not destroy you, but it will bring you out strong, confident, bold in God. Hallelujah. Look to the Lord. The man that were with David, David said they looked to the Lord. David himself was looking to the Lord because he said, I saw the Lord and he heard me and delivered me out of all my fears. And he said, they looked to the Lord. The people that are, were with him, they also looked to the Lord, meaning we are looking to the Lord. And as we look to the Lord, he will come through for us. Are you feeling discouraged? Are you feeling disappointed? Are you feeling hopeless? Do you feel like there's not going to be an end to what you're going through? I'm here to tell you, refocus. Look to the Lord. Look to the Lord. Look to the Lord. Put your faith in God. Put your trust in God. Put your confidence in God. And you will know you're doing that when you don't feel hopeless. The minute you don't feel hopeless anymore, you know that you've placed your confidence in God. The minute you, your joy comes back to you, you know you've put your confidence and your trust in God. You know you've handed the situation over to the Lord. The minute you are able to bless the Lord in the midst of the storm, you know that you've placed the burden in his hand. He said, cast all your cares upon me, for I care for you. He said, come to me, all you that are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. When you put your faith and your trust and your confidence in the Lord, he will give you rest. Look to the Lord and you will be radiant. Hallelujah. And your face will not be ashamed. God is on your side. God is not against you. He will not let your enemies laugh at you or triumph over you. God is with you. Look to him and you will be radiant. Shalom.